Gathering of Kings, first mission. 12 tracks, 49 minutes, the debut album from this mammoth melodic rock supergroup. Uh, released January 2019 via Spin Up Records, produced by Thomas Plek Johansson at the Panic Room in Sweden. Four promo tracks have been released in Forever and a Day, Out of My Life, Saviour, and Love Will Stay Alive. This impressive ensemble includes members of Master Plan, Soil Work, Spiritual Beggars, Sapphire, Corroded, Helldog, Within Temptation, Crash Diet, Eclipse, Treat, The Night Flight Orchestra, Sabaton, and many more. This album also has a cover of The Runaways, as written by Morris and Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees. Go for it. I really like this. This was an enjoyable listen. Great AOR, which can be hit and miss for me. A lot of what I've heard in the past couple of years I really like. Some of it I really hate. Mm. But thankfully this one I really, really like. Uh, there's lots going on in these songs. Um, the musicians certainly know what they're doing, and it's all there to serve the song. And uh, When you have so many musicians all contributing to an album, it can run into problems of it being disjointed, but mm. it just flows perfectly, I reckon. Uh, nice melodic hooks, easily accessible songs. It's just a fun listen, well-crafted songs, and well-performed. Um, yes, I know there are members of the Night Flight Orchestra in this project. This I like a lot better than that shit. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's cool to find out that it includes guitarist Martin Sweet from Crash Diet. Happy with that. And Eric from Eclipse on Guitar. Mm. As well as Angelo... I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name, but the <laughs> old singer from Firewind. Yeah. Uh, it's just some great names that I recognise, and I'm sure that a lot of other people from different bands uh, through this as well. Um, I'll have to check out those other musicians and what bands they're from, because... Mm listening to this, these guys have play. At a 10, I gave it the uh, stand-ups where The Gathering, Love Wolves, Stay Alive, Survivor, Out of My Life, and Lonely Road. Yeah, yeah I didn't think this one flowed, to be honest. No. I, I disagree with that. Um, for mine, it felt like a collection of singles rather than a co- cohesive album, but also mm. that nobody wanted to write the single and everyone just wanted to get their shit in. <laughs> <laughs> like it was the gathering of kings yeah oh, here we go yeah I I yeah, this was a, uh, has a bit of a struggle for me yeah, like made just, more so this isn't usually your pension either yeah 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 <laughs> it's not your penchant no no it's not but yeah like it just it was really disjointed for me it felt like you know even within the songs, like, you know, it, yeah, it, was, it was everyone wanted to get their shit. Okay, we've got a bunch of cool musicians and that's great. But we've got to show off how cool this is. We've got to show off how cool this is. We've got to show how cool, off how cool this is. But in the end, you kind of get great individual performances, but not really a great cohesive album. And I think that's where, for mine, this suffered. The chops were great. The recording was great. I loved everything about this album, unfortunately, except for the music. Um... <laughs> Some of the <laughs> that might be a little problem. <laughs> Tiny bit of a problem. <laughs> I loved everything, but I just hated the music, which was everything. Yeah. Uh, some of the tracks, uh, unfortunately, were a little bit uh, mid two thousand Eurovision. Um, oh, oh, bearded ladies. Sort of yeah, stuff. yeah, and, yeah and, and, and I, I, I do watch. I did watch Eurovision back then because I liked the. The, the bearded over, ladies. The, <laughs> over, the, over, the, over the top, the over the top ridiculousness of it. This was the poor part of Eurovision where everyone tried to get really slick and professional and that's not why people watch Eurovision. I uh, struggled to get into it, I gave it a 5 out of 10. There you go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, the intro was set in a mood of anticipation, not sure where the band was going to go once it kicked in. Mm. And... I was like, what the fuck what is going on here? Like, it sounded like Fahrenheit era Bon Jovi, just with a bit okay. of... And that, that, do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. I'm like, what? People still play that on TV? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're fucking joking. Like, and then I was like, this can't be a new release. It's brand new. It's like, and then I, and then I realised it was like, yeah, I'm in Spotify, and this has probably <laughs> just come out. I'm like, fuck, where have these guys been? Like frozen in time and they're just like defrosted and here we are last time I knew it was 981 it's just like ridiculous it was um oh if this is a fucking all star lineup, this is the gathering of shit (laughs) this was fucking rubbish I I didn't like it at all had moments and I agree with you like some of the the playing and stuff like that good yeah you expect that with you know caliber musicians but yeah fuck um I, I couldn't get into it really and looking on my score I'm going to change that when I get to it um, look there's flashy guitar which I liked yeah. which 
you know, like I said, the caliber of musicians, you expect that kind of musicianship to, to come through, but this was rubbish, man. This was fucking, like, no, like... It was actually sent to us, uh, brought to our attention by, I forget the magazine, but uh, a European oh, really? reviewer. Oh, really? No, a European reviewer sent yeah? this through to us who does all the Melodic Rice yeah. stuff, and he's just gone, check this one out. I reckon you guys should check this one out. But I, I, I mean, if they're going to do stuff... I think Jimmy should check it out. Jimmy should check it out. I don't yeah. even know if like, Jimmy would like, nah, he'd like this. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought if they're going to do something, a band like White Widow would be perfect fit. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, to do something together. Uh, I'm going to go down to a five out of ten. I put six point five, but that's way too high. Like I'm having really bad flashbacks. Uh, <laughs> From so, having experience. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> More upset than when I fucking listen to it. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, oh God, here we go. Forever and a day. Um, what a shit title that is as well. Like all of it. Gathering it's, of Kings, first mission. Forever. That's all. It's, it's, it's all ugly. It's, it's all. It's it's cheesy. Out Americans. of my life and lonely road. I mean, it's, it's fuck it. me. You know. <laughs> it's a very There's arrogant nothing. album. It, like it's really. A, I, oh fuck! It's it's so nerdy. It's not even. It makes me cringe. It's just. Yeah. It's the exact opposite of Snake Bite Whiskey. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. One hundred percent. Here we go. Yeah, five out of ten. All right. Fuck. Well, I thought the band name was fitting when you get into the lineup and knowing who they are. I think the album title itself is tacky, but the band name it, it makes sense. Uh, if you like <laughs> European or melodic rock, hard rock, you're going to be in heaven with this one. It insults people that are kings. <laughs> Says the anti-monarchist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what's the point. What's um, the point? Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> with an all star, well, okay, um, but with an all star cast, you should expect no less than the performances. The chops have been talked about. We all know the chops are here on this one. I thought the pieces did get made to fit together really well. Uh, it, I thought it could have been sloppy, but it actually came together well for me. It made sense to me. Maybe not, obviously not for everyone, but for me, it, it worked. Some of the vocals and the lead work in particular were the big flash points on this, but I thought everything fit together nicely. Composition-wise, it's very melodic rock to AOR. If you're a fan of things like the Night Fly, Flight Orchestra, you'll be at home, but I think, like, for I Dave, hate that fucking I know, thing, but, but there's like enough this. access points in this for other people who hate that band to... Fuck, I didn't even hear that. I hate this. I'm well, yeah, not you listening don't go that. near Night, <laughs> Night Fly Orchestra. Fuck that. Just don't. Um... Fuck. This is more accessible than people might think, although it's only getting 50% of us here on the panel tonight. There are riffs and solos here. This is meant to be catchy stuff, so it's going to be hook-laden, uh, but it's a bit rockier than you think, too. It's very well written, very mem uh, memorable. Lyrically, it is the typical heartfelt stuff. Uh, it does go a bit deeper than a lot of other releases in the genre, though. Uh, there's a bit of darkness and gravel in this, which is refreshing. Uh, you get all your big key changes and all sorts of stuff. But it's got a bit of grit in there, which makes it a little bit different. Production, though, was big and polished, as in ridiculously so. Expect no less. It works well for this style of music. You'd, if it wasn't polished, it wouldn't make sense in that regard, production-wise. I know you're not, like we're talking about Snow Whiskey, this is a different beast entirely to that. This is opposite end, end of the spectrum. Um, the way different elements have been mixed in and come and go within the songs, I thought was really well done. I thought it was my, might be a bit too driven, though, overall. There are moments we can hear things clipping a touch, and it's not required on a release like this. When it's meant to be really polished and pristine, when you hear things clipping, that does come out at you a little bit. I didn't like that. It's only here and there, but it's there. It's, it's a good mix, apart from just pushing it too hard. When it comes to the Europeans, I think they know how to structure an album. They've done that well on this. Obviously, not for everyone, but... They've got me. Uh, I thought it had great use of peaks and troughs. Uh, it takes on a journey. It, I think with everything going on, like you were saying, it would be easy for it to become a big mess, mess. but I thought they really did a good job. Not easy to pull it off, but they, they got there. Big bits of the 80s in this. If you like AOR and melodic rock, as I said, this will be right in your wheelhouse. That said, if you like music driven by melody and groove, it's worth a look. I warmed into this one pretty quickly. I reckon I'll be coming back to it. It won't be for everyone, though, clearly. Um... Which is, I kind of expected that. This is going to be real. If you, you're either going to get this straight away and it's going to make perfect sense and you're going to be straight into it. I got it. <laughs> Didn't like it, obviously. Yes. So it's, it's either one of those ones where you're going to love it or you're going to pretty much hate it. Yeah. It's not going to be a middle ground. No, no, no. Kind no of it's, not, it's not good. 
Okay. <laughs> that's where we're getting that displayed here. Uh, well, I think it has at least one point of access for everyone. No, listen to listen to me. Here we go. Here we go. This is my final thought on my review. I know that among us here at THRS, this might be a bit of a hit and miss record. <laughs> um, what a shock. I know, what a surprise. Eh? But for mine, this has a blend of the softer and heavy moments. I reckon this is well worth checking out for yourself. A single does for you. Uh... The more I settle in with it, the more I enjoyed it. So for me, it was a grow. This one has a knack of staying with you. Then there are some belting tracks in it. So I gave it a 9 out of 10. Uh, Battle Cry, Lonely Road, Forever in a Day, Endless Paradise, and The Runaway are my standouts. Check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. Hmm. Are you want to kick me off on that show? I'd, I'd rather Mount Franklin right now. <laughs> 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 Nearly there. there. Orazio oh. Fan <laughs> <laughs> Who do you follow the footy again? Who do you follow in the Collingwood? <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure it was Collingwood. 